it's it's live. Oh, okay. Okay, it's working. Okay. All right, thank you. Yep, no problem. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there were technical difficulties. Uh, now I've got this working. Oh, uh, okay. Let me just get out my notes. Uh. Okay, I watched the new movie, um, after. It came out, uh, a few days ago, and I just, I had to talk about this, because, like, I just saw it today, um, for the show, obviously, yep, uh, and, wow, okay, okay, um, so, this, um, so this, mo this book, this movie is based on a book. But that's not where the story starts. See, someone wrote fan fiction about Harry Styles of One Direction. And then that person changed all the names in that fan fiction for One Direction. And then that person published it as a book. And then that book got made into a movie that I watched today. Uh... Okay, so, all right, there will be spoilers, and uh, I don't really know how to start this. I guess I should start with um, the characters, okay? So, um, there's, um, it's basically like they wrote, ooh, ooh, this is, it's fan fiction, basically, just in movie form, and you can really kind of tell. Like, it's like, um, ah, okay, so, um, there's, uh, there's Tessa, who's our main character, and Tessa is like some very sh is like a very sheltered like a uh, girl who's just going off to college and like oh she's only ever had one boyfriend and um, and like she's very sheltered and like she like uh, she's obviously like a self insert character from whoever wrote this uh, like. But, like, basically, they go into, like, the backstory, and it's, like, oh, her her mom, uh, their, um, her mom's, uh, like, uh, her father, like, ran out at, on them, so, like, her mom is, like, obsessed with, like, uh, with, like, her, like, um, never having any boyfriend except for a boyfriend she, like, arranged marriage style, like, picked for her when she was seven, it's implied, it's, like, implied... And <laughs> that sounds weird, but, like, she's got this boyfriend, and, like, the boyfriend is, like, much closer with the mom than he is with, like, the character of Tessa. So she goes off to, like, college and stuff. And, uh, see, when the movie first started, because, of, like, how close the boyfriend is to the mom, I thought it was, like, her brother or something. But, like, no, it's it's her boyfriend, and, like... Like, her mom, like, takes her off to college, and, like, her mom, like, gets freaked out because her roommate has, like, a, has, like, a marijuana, like, sticker on the wall, and also a nose piercing, so it's, like, it's kind of, that's, and, ah, uh, and, uh, so, but, the, the boy, the new character, like, the character will come in and, like, um, be her love interest in the movie. It's not the boyfriend. It's a new guy from her college, and it's Harry Styles. Except uh, in the movie, they change his name. He's not Harry Styles. He's like uh... oh, I can't even rem remember his name. It starts with an H. I have it written down in my notes somewhere. I wasn't able to take as many notes as I usually do because, like, um... oh, it's Harden. His name is Harden. Well, basically, um. So, when I bought the ticket for the movie, it was, like, an hour before the movie was going to start. And I was like, okay, no one else is going to buy tickets for this movie. I'll get the... It's, like, a middle-of-the-day screening of this movie. I can just, like, watch it and, like, have my phone out and take notes. And, like, I can, like, laugh really loudly and, like, have a fun time because I'm the only one in this theater. But then, like, five minutes before the movie happens, just one more person, like, one singular person bought a ticket so it was just me then two rows down uh some other person 
both silently watching this weird, like, teen romance movie. That's like... So, um... Uh, Harden... 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 Uh, um, it's like, okay, Harden is amazing. Because he's like, oh, he wears, like, rock and roll t-shirts, and he has tattoos all over his body. And, like, she's so attracted to him, but she knows she can't date him because she has a boyfriend. But at the same time, maybe she's not attracted to Harden because, like, Harden is, like, a jerk, and he's always making mean comments, and he's kind of creepy. Like, it is weird how creepy they make his character in this. Like, our introduction to the character of Harden, because Harden is, like, Tessa's roommate's friend. But, like, our introduction to his character is, like, she gets out of the shower and, like, puts on a towel and goes to grab clothes to, like, get changed with. And then just Harden is sitting on her bed reading, like, Withering Heights. The book Withering Heights. And she and she tells him to leave and he's like because he has a british accent because he's harry styles he's like oh don't worry i'm not interested i'm reading this book <laughs> and, it's, and it's like creepy though because like he refuses to leave until like the roommate comes and i'm like you're making her uncomfortable get out just like stop being a weirdo there <laughs> you um this mo- movie's version of harry styles um but yeah though his character like i want to go through some quotes like i got of like what he said in this in the mo- like some of the stuff he says in this movie because there's like uh there's um sorry uh, i should have had this organized um okay when she asks him at one point later in the movie who do you love most in the world his response is Easy. Myself. (laughs) And, um, also another thing he says, Nice. Isn't that just another word for boring? And also, after pushing her head underwater, he's like, The silence. It's peaceful. (laughs) He says so many, um, weird stuff in this movie. Like, What are you dreaming about? (laughs) And, um, don't worry, that part... That part ends up to be a dream sequence she had. Like, she has a dream where she wakes up and he's standing over her bed and it's like, what were you dreaming about? And, like, I haven't read the book that this is based on or, like, the, like, original, like, thing. But, like, I've been told by someone who, like, knows more about it. Like, that that might not have... I forget. It might not have been, like, a dream in, like, the book. And... Also, there's a... I was celebrating. Dear old dad is getting married. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of this. He has a tragic childhood. He's with his dad. And now his dad is, like, um, getting married in the movie. Stuff, um... Oh! You made me promise to be on my best behavior. <laughs> it's... <laughs> Just everything he says in this movie comes off, like, so, like, weirdly sinister. And, like, everything he does in this movie comes off weirdly sinister. There's, like, a... Like, she gets invited by her roommate to a party at, like, Harden's house, at Harry Styles' house. And she, like, goes up to his room and starts looking through his things. And, like, finds, like, his copy of Wuthering Heights. And then he, like comes in and, like, starts slowly and menacingly walking towards her while quoting, like, Wuthering Heights. And I'm like, this is really weird. You two end up together at the end of the movie? I I don't know. I'd expect, like, you to be dead, actually. This is, um, this movie. And I will say he's a really nice car in the movie. But yeah, though, basically the thing is, like, She doesn't drink or, like, anything. And, like, she's like, oh, I've never been... Oh, I've never been to a party. Uh, and, like, she's going to party... The parties and stuff. And, like, they're playing, like, Truth or Dare. And, like, she's all uncomfortable and stuff. And, like... Because she has, like, a very sheltered life. Because her mom has, like, uh... Set up everything for her. And, like, basically... Just... 
Uh, I just got text. I should. Yeah, I'm not not now. Okay, I just got text from someone, but like, not now. Okay, do that later. Then. Oh, that's weird. The uh, live stream. Am I live right now? It says no one. Usually it says one person is watching because like I have it up on my computer. Right now it says zero people watching. But like, cause like as, yeah, this is, okay. I was having some technical difficulties earlier and I'm not really sure if those are continuing or if I fixed it or not. I'm just gonna hope I fix it. It's recording everything. So if I didn't, I can put this up online later. But yeah though, so um, Harden, Harden has like a, a bunch of friends and I'm like kind of thinking like, oh, are these like the other members of One Direction in this like universe where Harry Styles is going to college and like all that stuff from, because like there's like one friend who like, who he's got, he's like this blonde guy with like his hair like sticking up. He's got, like, another friend who's, like, wearing a Hawaiian shirt with three buttons unbuttoned and, like, a chain and lock necklace. And, like, none of these people look at all, like, actual, like, college students and stuff. Like, they're all very much, like, they look like characters in The Lost Boys. They look like the vampires in The Lost Boys. Like, actually, like, this movie, like, with everything is set up, so it's kind of like... Harden is a vampire. Like, he feels like a vampire in this movie. Like, everything he says and, like, everything he does is, is like, very much, like... Oh, am I watching Twilight right now? But, yeah, like, um... Harden, Harden, okay. Um, he's, like, he... Like, these ki people are very, like, incompatible, like... But it's, like, it's a fan fiction thing where it's, like... Oh, this 14... This, like... I don't know, some... This all of this is like a a like teenager's idea of what college is. Like this is like a fourteen year old's idea of what college is. It's like oh I'm gonna go to a party and there'll be like rave music playing and the lights will all be like flashing and like it's a party at someone's house. Like no parties are actually like this and like oh also everyone's drinking from red solo cups and there's some guy on the roof for no reason. Um. Harden is on the roof. He goes to the roof to think, actually. It's, like, shown later in the movie. He goes to his roof to, like, think and, like, look at the stars. Because he's, like, a sensitive. But he's also a jerk. And he's always being, like, mean to people and stuff. But she can change him with her love. And, uh... I will say the film might have some misogynistic undertones. Um... Uh... Can get into that some more later. But, uh... Okay, so Harden, who's, like, throughout, the throughout like, the first act of the movie, he's just, like, being, like, a jerk all the time. Or, like, uh... And then at one point, he just comes up to her in a coffee shop. He's like, let's start over. We should be friends, not enemies. Come with me. I have something to show you. And she goes with the creepy British guy while he dri gets her in her co his car, and then they drive out to the middle of nowhere in the woods. And I'm like... You sure this is a good idea, main character of the film? Uh, but yeah, he goes to show her his, like, his, like, swimming spot. Um, like, he's, like, and they just go skinny dipping and stuff, and, like, and, like, almost kiss, and... At this point, she still has a boyfriend, so, like, uh... Yeah, the, the swimming in the lake, in, like, the middle of nowhere, that's the first, like, romantic location... Like, of the film, because, like, this film, like, goes from, like, one, like, scene in, like, a romantic location to, like, another, like, throughout the movie. And it's, like, it's it gets kind of comical because, like, it's kind of, like, oh, what will there be next? Like, what's the next romantic location these characters will go to? Like, it's every, it's, like, every stereotype in, like, some, like, teen romance movie put together in one movie. Like, if one of these characters was dying of cancer... It would be every stereotype. Like, they've got it all in there. They've got, like, the guy who's, like, just a friend. Like, but, like, and they've got, like, the mean girl, uh, like, who's, like, who's trying to break the two of them up. 
and they've got it's and they've got like the mom disapproves, and it's every it's every like stereotype like in the books. Cause uh, so like romantic locations in the film first the skinny dipping at the lake scene, then they've got like at one point in the movie like cause like she's friends with uh, Harden's future stepbrother like um. Harden's dad and this kid Landon's like mom are dating and like they get married later in the movie um but yeah though like at one point like she gets a phone call from Landon he's like help I need your help Harden is freaking out and like breaking stuff at my house and she goes to like calm Harden down and he's like I just found out that my dad is getting married so I destroyed everything and got really drunk and like she calms him down, and then, like, they, like, ha- have, like, an almost sex scene, but, like, that doesn't happen until later in the movie, so it's just kind of like they just lay in bed together. Well, she still has a boyfriend at this point in the movie. Uh, and then, like, they, at a later point, they're both on, like, the roof of his house and looking at the stars, and, like, at this point, she's broken up with her, like, boyfriend who's, like, who was, like, handpicked by her mom, And this boyfriend, like, goes to her mom and tells her mom that they broke up. And then her mom will eventually, like, go to the college and, like, tell her that she's cutting her off. Like, she's not going to give her any money anymore. For, like, and she has to, like, get out of her dorm because she can't live there anymore because the mom's not paying for it. Like, the mom, like, who's seemingly, like, obsessed with, like, giving her daughter, like, a very, like, perfect life is just like, oh, you're dating a different boy than the one I picked? Well, let me take all of your money. She'll eventually end up living at Harry Styles, with Harry Styles, like, Harry Styles, like, he's, or, Harry, or, Harden, he's, like, house-sitting for someone, he's watering their plants, he's just like, yeah, we can live at their house. They, they didn't tell me I could, but I guess we can. And... They break into a library at one point after they're, like, they start dating and stuff. Like, they're in the school library, and then, like, it gets, like, dark, and, like, the library's closing, and they hide under a desk. And then they romantically read classic literature together. Like, the whole thing in this movie is, like, oh, um, Hardin is, like, constantly being, like, insulting and, like, rude to everyone. But we both like classic literature. So I guess we belong together. Um, and then, like, they they get caught by the security guard, and there's, like, a chase sequence where they have to escape from the library while this old security guard is chasing them. Then they have a picnic together, and they go to the planetarium, and, like, the the planetarium, like, it has, like, the person, like, on the microphone talking about, like, each star pushing the other to explode in supernova. And, um... Oh, another weird quote from Hardin. What are you doing, Tessa? Learning about the stars? <laughs> they go to an aquarium. And, uh, the, this aquarium, like... Like, if there was a scene where someone was at an aquarium, that would be cool. But, like, whale sharks are in captivity in this aquarium. And this might be a little bit nitpick, nitpicky. This might be me just kind of, like, messing with, like the movie a bit to an extent that it doesn't need to be, but, uh, whale sharks are captive on the island of Okinawa, parts of China, South Korea, and India. These are the locations, or, like, around the world that, like, they hold whale sharks in captivity. The only location, the only other location in, um, which is in America, is, uh, in Georgia, at an aquarium in Georgia. This movie takes place in Washington. Speaking of uh, me nitpicking about Washington um, uh, and stuff and the locations of this film, uh, the lo- the college is a real-life college. It looks nothing like it does in the movie. It's like uh, it's in a city in the movie, and it's like in, a f- in like the middle of farmland in, the- in real life. And also... Um, the skinny dipping scene takes place in September in Washington, which I feel like would be really cold, like the water. Uh, so they go to Hartley's dad's wedding, and he reveals his tragic childhood. 
Um, and he's like, oh, my dad wasn't always like this. My dad used to get drunk and go to the pub all the time. Then one day, he talked to someone he shouldn't have and got in a fight with them. So that person and their friends went to my house when I was eight years old and beat up my mom. And that's how my parents got divorced. So, yeah, he's got a sad backstory. I mean, like, he hates his dad because, like, his dad picked a fight with the wrong people at a bar and, like, that sort of thing. And, uh, at every one of these romantic locations, they play, like, a country, like, some, like, popular country or, like, pop song that's, like, about romance and stuff. Like, everything in this movie has, like, really on-the-nose, like, music, like... When she's, like, trying to change herself and decides to, like, start wearing makeup, there's, like, a song about, like, change- about, like, being a different person and, like, wearing a different face. And, like, when, like, the, when, like, they, she gets in a fight with, like, Harden, it's, like, oh, there's a song about, like, why are you doing this to me? And, like, there's just- yeah, uh, huh. It's, uh, yeah, that's just everything, like, okay, they, uh- so, I have nothing against people who like write fan fiction and stuff. Sure, like sure, that's fine. But uh, this seems genuinely harmful. Like just the amount of like fights these characters get in, and how like it's the message seems to be like, date this guy who like insults everyone and is like really mean to people, and you can change him with your love and like make him a perfect person. And um, so eventually they like reveal in the movie like. Okay, uh, they reveal that, uh, Harden, this entire time he's been dating her, it's actually been, like, a bet he made with, like, the other, like, characters, the other members of One Direction. Like, where it was like, oh, I bet I can make her fall in love with me. And then I'll just turn it off. And, like, he actually says, like, oh, after the time is over, I'll just turn it off with a snap of my fingers. And then, like, th th that's something sociopaths can do. Like, okay, that's that's concerning. But yeah, though, it, it doesn't work, though. Like, while he is a jerk in this movie, he's not a sociopath. So he's kind of like, oh, I fell in love with her for real. And then, like, they break up because she learns the horrible truth. And, like, the scene where she learns, like, he started dating her to win a bet. Like, there's, like, violin music. And everything's in slow motion. It's, like, played like a horror movie. Like, she gets called by, like... the w One Direction thinks this has gone on for too long, so they go to tell her the truth. And, like, it's, like, played like a horror movie in slow motion. And, like, she runs away out into the rain, and it's pouring rain. And then she gets on a bus, and she goes back to her mom's. And, like, here's the thing. I have a gap in the movie. Like, this is in the third act of the movie. Like, there's a scene where she goes to her mom's house... And then I left to go use the bathroom. And then, see, if I was watching a movie... Yeah. Um, and then, like, I came back and uh, she was back at college. So I have no idea what happened at, in that scene. But yeah, long story short, they get back together in the end. He sends her a letter about how, like... How, like, there is no before and only after. Which I guess that's the title of the movie. And, like, oh, I... I never thought that I would fall in love, but now I have, and, uh, then they get back together again, and the movie ends. So, uh, that is the film. It is, it really feels like, like, fan fiction, like, it really feels like that, like, someone just wrote, like, a thing where it's like, oh, what if I went to college with One Direction? And... And, uh, and what if Harry Styles fell in love with me, but Harry Styles was, was mean, and I had to change him to make him a better person. And, like, um, I believe in the actual book, like, because they get into fights and, like, break up, like, two or three times in this movie. I, someone told me, like, in the actual book, it's, like, more, like, 11 times, like, or something, that they break up and get back together again over the course of, like, one book. And, uh... 
Also, apparently in the book, there's like a thing about how she cures his nightmares by being with him. And like, he doesn't have nightmares now that he's dating her anymore. And um, that's, that's something. So, that's all I've got. Have a good week, everybody. Uh, I would not recommend this movie. Uh, it's, it's, it's poorly made. They try to fix some things that were, like, weird with the book or so I've been told. It's, like, better than the book. But, like, I wouldn't recommend either of those things. Like, I mean, I wouldn't recommend either for myself. Like, I'm just watching this for the show. And I'm kind of like, ah, kind of regret watching that. A couple hours of my life I lost. Um, but, yeah, not recommending. Uh, everyone have a good week. Uh, and uh, goodbye.